Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maren. And I'm Maureen. Yeah, so guys, just a question to you real quick. Have you heard about something called a digital ID? Yeah, so in this case in Kenya, Bill Gates is the one who is pushing for the digital ID to be put into Kenyans' uh, bodies. Mm -hmm. And my real question is, why would Kenyans allow this to happen to them? And w most importantly, because I'm not a mother, but why would mothers allow this sort of... Uh, technology be injected into their babies i yeah. just don't get it because in america itself americans did not want anything to do with this bill gates Digi yes you know yeah. so guys digital uh, the idea is to inject the digital id into people into so babies that, yeah so that they can be identified easily but my question is all this data that will be collected by that by that whatever thing bill gates calls a uh, digital id where is all that information going to and how most importantly how, how is, is it, it going, going to be used uh, how is it going to affect the generation that they are going, going to, to inject, inject into yes. so before we say anything further just leave us your comments on what you think about this episode on the comment section meanwhile let's watch a video here and then we come back and talk about it you know kenya is coming out with a digital id program that's right, something as crazy as that because Bill Gates is the one who's behind it and backing it. Check this video out and I'll be back. Now it even gets worse. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is continuing its global push to support its so-called government-backed digital ID programs. And this time setting its sight on Kenya, where it will advise the government on that country's Maisha Naba digital ID initiative that is currently under development. So according to a Kenyan news agency, Gates' role is assisting the Kenyan government in its development and the rollout of Maisha Namba was announced after a recent series of the closed-door meetings with Kenyan President William Ruto. According to Biometric Update, Maisha Namba is supposedly expected to address different challenges, such as identifying and authenticating citizens, safeguarding primary registration documents such as birth certificates and national identity cards, and improving the management of the social programs and government operations. The project has been met with skepticism in some parts of the country. Rights groups have also been expressing concern over the possibility of discrimination and the erosion of privacy. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that, but have a listen to this. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months, I have been assured by all the stakeholders, all the stakeholders, all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December we will be able to launch digital ID where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And um, the most, the proudest part of it is that we don't have to spend the billions that we have spent on all the other uh, manenos as uh, all of you know. We're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. Kenya is in serious trouble. Now, for you to accept this, that means you're going to be completely surveilled and controlled. Think about it. So they have targeted the new babies, of course, even the ordinary citizens, the grown-ups, the young ones, the teenagers, and even the elderly ones will receive this digital ID. But they will then create a new generation where they'll be completely under this digital ID and they have no choice. What do you think? You know, 
People say, well, what's the big deal, Go Black? I mean, hey, it's a digital ID. People don't have IDs. They're antiquated when it comes to their so-called technology. And it's just a quick way of identifying people. Oh, contraire, brothers and sisters. You see, I have an advantage that most people do because I have the so-called uh, a mindset because I was in damn Erica, put the D in front of America, capitalized the E, damn Erica, for the majority of my life. I've served 20 years in the military, served in the intelligence and other commands that were there in the military. And I understand the way that they think. Yes, that's right. So when you talk about any time a Western world wants to do anything with black folks, you know it's something that they're trying to advance for their own common good, not yours. So what is it? Well, we know that he says, the President Ruto says in Kenya, oh, you know, it'd be Irish, you know, or th uh, uh, fingerprints identification. Well, yes, that sounds innocent as much as we may believe. Of course, we have to use fingerprints, you know, when we have to get visas coming into other countries. And some of you all who work in high security places may even have to use your eyes to enter in. But... What is the downfall or the cons behind the very thing that you might think is so innocent? Well, Bill Gates said they shoot an identity uh, ID within the baby. You know, we know that the so-called Bible or the uh, conspiracy theorists who are out here are talking about, you know, the so-called Antichrist will be the chip taking on the 666 image of the evil one if you will but let's go further than that you know when you really think about it putting a chip in someone we know is a uh, an identity that you just can't remove it's there it will always be there but what if you decide that you just don't want to be identified matter of fact what goes on that identification what is on there that would be so interesting that Bill Gates and others would want to retrieve if something happens to you hmm let me give you a scenario let's just say because there are those out there who've already made mention that the melanin in our skin is highly desirable for the sake of many of them maintaining a youth but let's go to the next place of this you know I had to do some research and find out what is the child's birth rate per year in Kenya? To my amazement, it's 1.2 million children born per year. Now you had to work up or look up the so-called neonatal um, mortality rate or the children that die. It's 3.36%. Now you might say, oh, 3% of baby deaths out of 1.2 million that doesn't seem like a lot anyway oh yes it is that's 40,000 300 and something children that die a year and that's just Kenya can you imagine if on this ID that it has of course the, the, the genetic or the DNA genetic code for each individual baby of course we know they're going to have the blood type we're going to have all the different types of where um, many people who are going to want to have so called you know your organs transplants and things which is high on the scale for sales around the world would be a great idea when you don't have to retrieve paperwork and finding out what is this baby's makeup and so the baby could easily be sold when you go ahead and quickly identify by bloop, hitting the so-called barcode on that child and then turn around and cast it around the world of what is for sale. You know, we already know that the evil exists around this world. And we know the Western worlds have run tests on many of Africans, hence HIV that has been spread throughout the continent of Africa by those who had their own evil agendas and trying to deplete the population in Africa. I don't know when they're gonna wake up. We don't die, we multiply. But they also in America have done programs, St. Louis, Missouri, that they drove around in 1973, spraying in the communities, trying to find out 
St. Louis in 1973, where they drove around and sprayed toxin aluminums to see whether or not the, what the effects would be upon a black people for the military's so-called advancements in biological warfare, or the Tuskegee Airmen, where these black men were suffering with syphilis and they had the so-called cure, and then they just used them as lab rats to follow along for 20, 30, 40 years to see what the effects are, only for their own selfish gain. Or when you talk about when it was the drugs, you know, whether it was the heroin, whether it was other psychedelic drugs that they have given to prisoners. Okay, guys, let us know what you think about this episode because there's not a lot of stories about this kind of like a media shadow ban, you know, mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of Kenyans should be on the streets right now protesting against this mm -hmm. because of the adverse effect that this would have on mm -hmm. Kenyans, you know, and because... Mm -hmm. When Bill Gates was first trying to get into Kenya, he came with the pretext of uh, GMO foods, mm. which Kenyans trying to solve protested the, against right. it, you know. Mm. And uh, when Kenyans, Kenyans protested against it, it still found its way in Kenya regardless. Mm -hmm. How we don't know, just um, ships were being seized at the Mombasa port, but it was GMO here. foods and they were already here mm. and other you know batches were found in some other facilities in the country you know and then soon after this gmo foods came the digital identification code so me my question is mm -hmm, why are we not hearing a lot of kenyans talk about this you guys will think we are conspiracy theorists or we're just out of my our minds or maybe we are but Maybe the food was to come first so that whatever they've put in that food, they can mind control people so that when they come with this Maisha number, boom, you know, BS, people could easily, you want to fight against it, but you can't. I don't know if you understand me. I don't know, man. I don't so, know what's something happening. Something is happening in Kenya, but only the people are just knows about it. Kenya is not, usually not this quiet against something it doesn't support. Mm, I remember how Kenyans fought against the GMO food, um, the GMO importation. Mm -hmm. They really fought against it. And this Misha number, one thing we have to bring up mm -hmm. is that like nobody complained about working with the physical Co paper, paper papers and or identification. The plastic ID. Mm -hmm. Nobody has complained and nobody complained. Mm -hmm. Especially if they knew the alternative would be for them to be injected by a foreign substance that will have to uh, live in your body mm -hmm. you know nobody mm -hmm. would trade up a plastic id for that mm -hmm. you know and second thing to to note here is that uh bill gates once said mm -hmm. he wants to control the population of uh the world and he would begin in africa mm -hmm. kenya has opened you know in order for these big stakeholders to come to kenya they have to get to have a leeway which is mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. and if the government has accepted them here it's easier for them to come and do all these nasty things in in, in kenya you mm -hmm. know this and is where we talk about african sellouts i'm just Afri saying yes african sellouts and african leaders, leaders who are, are not who for are saying Africa. people they're not for africans so long as you whoop up whoop out that check with a big zero in, in it they're willing to sell even their own well moms mothers you know so you guys i just this topic really brings uh, a lot of anger to me because these kids don't choose whatever is going into their bodies and more the a big percentage of kenyans especially the ones who are in the rural parts of a kenyans, big percentage they are illiterate so then they're going to think that this is to help them mm -hmm. and then uh back to the question of where is all this information going uh our fans our followers the ones who see our videos we want we recently did a video about why well these people changing their colors to black and they were using melanin injections to do that mm -hmm. and most of you were asking us where is all this melanin coming from mm -hmm. and, and some people are saying, saying some people are saying africans be careful that we many africans not. especially in west africa <laughs> are being, disappearing. Are disappearing you guys so you see how the, two and two is beginning to add up and then also 
uh, when you put that thing in your body, it will be collecting data and sending to the very people who are interested in your melanin, mm. in our melanin. Mm. You know, you they hear our to... brother, our black American brother, t- t- talking about organs. You know, and organs being on high demand. Mm. Um, uh, uh, alongside those organs that are on high demand, think Contain about melanin. a lot of melanin. Melanin, which is um, which is right now retailing, f- it's m- worth more than, than gold. gold. Meaning they're preparing a very booming market for melanin mm. that these people will need you know and, and they will know, be this, the one who will be holding the cash cow of right. this mm. and guys this brings me back to the covid-19 pandemic which mm. i don't want to mention a lot but you guys know a lot of people COVID thought that came. you get predicted uh covid predicted. predicted covid but i say he manufactured it him along with other people the powers that be mm. they manufactured covid they didn't pre- predict covid and then this came the COVID they just, shots and then so came the covid shots he has stakes in uh uh, industries that produce yes that produce the vaccine like w- and, and they're really going to praise our president for this thinking about a, a genius you know for them because yes. it has been packaged and presented in such a way we don't think you know it's going to have effects on you because they say that if you have that digital identification government services are going to be accessible to you more easily Mark of compared, the to, mm-hmm. compared to when you have the physical one mm-hmm. this is going to speed and i now. feel like the government has um deliberately walked kenyans into this slaughterhouse ask me why Why? because before all this my number whatever whatever getting an id even if you lost your id replacing an id was very easy Mm. and right now so many kenyans live below the poverty line that when the government uh increased the charges of getting an id or replacing an id many kenyans will opt to go and be injected with whatever it is they're going to be injected with because they can't afford the physical id you get mm-hmm. what i'm and saying if you keep losing your ass, make it make sense they say if you if you lose your id you have to pay two thousand to replace it two thousand kenyan shillings that's about twenty dollars they're about i'm mm-hmm. not sure just to replace an id and keep in mind a lot of kenyans live below the poverty, poverty line. line so who will be affording will they choose to eat or would they choose to replace their ids some people will be working uh, I, uh, unable to be identified in this country because most of, actually there are parts in our country Where that people, people don't, don't have, have id so if you go and present them you know the alternative is you know mm-hmm. injecting that thing into your body mm-hmm. you see they thing. say my people lack the, the, or perish my people perish due to lack of knowledge i feel like Africans will move yeah. around to ignorant, you know. Yeah, very people, ignorant. People need to be more, you know, you aggressive want to, towards uh, finding information. Yeah, and this is why we are an at easy this target point, than we, we are an easy are. target than uh, Black Americans, African Americans, African Jamaicans, diaspora, Caribbean, Jamaicans, and the rest of and the Caribbean. rest of Caribbeans. Africans, please forgive me for this for today. <laughs> We are the mo- the stupidest. We are the foolishest in the bunch. Mm. We are. Yeah, and they feel until like- we wake up, we all are just very. <laughs> we need to protect our Africa. So for that reason, they just need to collect all, all ignorant the- of us. Go and put them somewhere. You know, no, somewhere. No, no, just apples. leave them for things like this. What will get you? Yeah. Do? <laughs> this is if this doesn't work, these Africans up. <laughs> Then I'll, 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 I'll end up I'll, as guinea pigs. Then they're going to end up as guinea pigs and I'll have accepted. So guys, let me read you a few of the reaction of Kenyans from the internet. Although, although I feel like this topic has gotten very little publicity compared to what it should have been that this concerns all Kenyans. You know, this is a topic that everybody should be talking about. Because to be quite honest, when this video of our brother came out, it's a fan who sent it to us and asked us, what is your opinion on this? Mm. Do Kenyans have an opinion on what is going on in Kenya? I do believe Kenyans have an opinion, just that it's not being publicized enough to Right. that people are, so are not okay with this exactly. thing that's being pushed on to them by the government yeah so out of sight out of mind people tend to forget yeah, that, that this is happening until you, that time uh, comes when you need to give birth and you find yourself in a situation that you can't your baby say is no. going to be injected with something that you can't say no to. either that or your baby is an alien so let's read the um opinions of people on the internet my hope my hope is the whole digital id idea will be dealt a total blow this one was against Against it it. another one that was just a way of getting money from kenyans it was not going to change anything this is a failed system so this one is thinking locally he's not 
seeing the wide the wider picture yeah so then then they think before this there was a project called um who do my number it was much similar to this as except from uh, that one we it were wasn't told. digital yeah and then that one we were told it was if you got that it's like it's it is similar to the id the physical id but it's called an huduma number that one was supposed to help citizens get government services quicker but that see? was just a hoax project and the and money. it costed a lot of taxpayers money yeah another one um Ruto should respect the court and the laws of this country. This thing of wasting taxpayers' money should stop. Those billions should be diverted into building something else. So the court was ag- ruled against it because apparently it did that follow. also passed the law. Yeah. Another one, we don't want mark of the beast in Kenya. Ruto must go. That, that one is a walk, Kerala. Another one. Well, 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 I misplaced mine. I was so ready to part with those 2,000 shillings that this new segment makes me happy. This one is this is happy about the... Hmm. Hmm. Another one says, a better way to track all of us. I agree. Another one, why is the church quiet? Good question. Another one, and who told you we were tired of carrying our plastic IDs? Good question. Who said we were tired of carrying plastic IDs? Another one, Africans, Africans, only one person thinking on your behalf as if we are desperate. Please let us think and know our values. So guys, I think we'll leave it at that. You guys, tell us what you think about this episode because for me, I feel like it's raising a lot of concerns. Yeah, because especially I'm to... uh, this uh, who, Maisha number coming from a person who wanted to depopulate Africa. And, uh, you know, I, to, to some extent, I can say that he'll manage because, first of all, it's already been passed into law. And then secondly, uh, for instance, for a person like me, I'm not yet a mother, but when I hear for for this and this period, they'll be injecting babies with that thing. I won't want to give birth to a child to to be subjected to that. So what will I do? I'll opt to not give birth until the that period of that their experiment passes, so that I can give birth to a healthy kid who will continue being healthy without that thing being in their mind. So you see. Uh, they've made me uh, plan ahead by not having kids right now, you know, mm. which is quite sad to be quite honest. So I don't know guys, let us know what you think about, about this. this episode. Mm. Yeah, today I feel like I'm a bit disoriented by all of this. Uh, and especially I'm asking myself where, why the world is going to look in 10 years. In 10 years. 10 years especially is too far, in 7, in seven years. years. Especially having human beings, I don't know even if they're human beings like Bill Gates. You know, sometimes I just usually think him and his kind, not this these people, but him and his his kind, the ones who want to control the world and do everything uh, against how God has intended the world to run. I usually think, why doesn't God just, uh, you know, they've lived long enough. It's time for God to take them uh, so that they can go and live. In the, yeah, so that they can go and live on their own. They should stop being a menace in in the world is what i'm saying you Thinking know they have solutions for everything in solution the world. for everything and if they don't have solution they create other problems in order to find solutions to something that should be left alone you know mm-hmm. but i understand also why they they are really coming for us uh, africans, africans. Yeah. first of all we are just we are not woke okay africa we are gone but our brothers are still fighting for us, so we are not too far gone. At, point, at, at some point, I normally pre- I normally say, why don't Jamaicans and Black Americans come Just and come flood and Africa so that they so can that fight? They can flood us with information and because, fight for us because hey, when you guys know how to and, fight. Hey. As Africans, I think compared to you guys, we are laid back when it comes to this issue. It's not even about it's, being laid back; we're just ignorant and, and we move like nothing can touch us. I think it's because we th- we are in we are at home. We are in our continent. We are too so and also this mentality of uh, aid coming to africa being given uh we're just aid. receiving things we're just receiving, receiving things we've, <laughs> we've been so conditioned to receiving things that we are so used to receiving things and that you don't know you, yes you don't see oh, when bill gates comes comes with this hand you don't know the one that he's hiding you know <laughs> what he's hiding there yes you're gonna end up mm, you know mm. and these are the consequences of us sleeping like that mm. you know mm. and so, then this african lead african, african leaders are such just, oh my goodness you know what me i think the greed what is at what cost at yeah. what cost at mm. what cost i usually hear what shall it uh 
gain gain a man to sell his servant for feet for feet his soul and gain for the world. world. Ask these African leaders, especially this Kenyan government, especially their this time of their time of you know when they have to go meet their makers, makers. who's nobody you goes know. to heaven with all these things you want. These you things know. you want. Yes, and me I know the next time you guys follow Kenyan elections very well. You know, someone is already in power, and most people right now are suffering. They don't want him. Mm. Even the people Mr. who voted R, for him, Mr. R is not wanted in, in Kenya, Kenya right, right now. now. But Mr. Even R is people, going to be our next president. He's, he's this still time going to be. We, are, we know this time is people are not going to vote, vote for him. him. That is a that fact. Will be an and if there is any Kenyan in this platform mm. who supports him and thinks we are wrong. Leave it down on the comment section that you'll vote for Mr. R. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Kenyans will vote for him. But he'll still be in power because Bill Gates has already paid the bought share. share. The shareholders, the shareholders <laughs> have already bought their shares in the government. Yeah. Unless Kenyans become ruthless like Jamaicans and African Americans in protest and say y'all should carry each other with your mark of the beast and go create your own country in America and love each other. Oh. <clears throat> Guys, guys, <laughs> we leave it at that. Thank you so much that. for watching. Let us. We really want to know your opinion, opinion on, on this matter, you know, because I feel yeah. like this topic needs to be highlighted, highlighted more. more. It needs, I it, don't it know, needs more attention. But for some weird reason, people have just resigned themselves to letting things happen. Bill Gates, what's his face? Put the, his foreign chip on on the babies, you know. Mm. Until I'm asking myself, this GMO foods that were found sneaked here in Kenya. Was there something in this food <laughs> that people have been subdued? You know, Maybe they're just even bending to the will of Bill Gates. They don't about go here, they're they are going, going and they're, this way. they are going like a flock of sheep because it's not normal. Is mm. it normal? We don't know, we don't know, but I'd really like to know. But it is the but it is this wanting to know that has landed all of us in this trouble because. Bill Gates wants to know what is in the genetic markup of black people. Americans wouldn't let him look look up their skirts, so he came to look up African skirts and he found the right people in Kenya to look up. It just makes me feel sad and angry. I could talk on and don't do Guys, look, more, at, I look defeated because I'm too, like, my like people, it's already happened. It's happening. You know? Because I'm just wondering, those babies who are being born right now, they've been well, sold what's already. The, what's their future looking like? like? Bill is just going to be controlling their poor minds. And as and our brother said... And there are babies in America that they can put those chips in. Americans won't let exactly. them. Exactly. Why should he come all the way from America? Because so I think that hasn't been, been done, done in America, America coming to do it, to do it Because there's, there are a lot of corrupt leaders in Africa who are willing to sell their people to gain an edge on the, uh, I mean on the financial um, market. You know, <sighs> guys, you could go on and on about this topic. It really never ends. But let's see Allow you on our us next to episode. Just end it from here and let's see you on our next episode. But if you can shed more light on this, please guys just shed more light on and this. And if you're a Kenyan watching this, we'd like to know no, what you, what think, you about think about this matter. Are you okay with the government just inserting Bill Gates uh, weird portions in your children's <laughs> whatever in form of genetic markup and he, he's the one collecting those uh, data for what? He's, he's going to do something with the you guys believe me. You've been complaining American people, the black the black ones go, are uh, turning missing. up missing. <laughs> Jamaica, we don't know if they're turning up missing or the but Caribbean. But in Africa also people have been turning up missing, especially Nigeria. Someone in Nigeria is selling those people to <coughs> be, be the initials B and G. Which is? <laughs> Oh, they, the bills have to be paid to the gatekeepers. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyway, you guys, let's just end it there. Let us know what you think about, about this, this episode, episode in the comment section because even thinking about, about it just it makes, makes me angry. You know? And if Bill Gates wanted to really control African population, I can say with me he has succeeded because I'm not going to birth a child into his system. Maybe the next president who will come will kick him and his uh mark of the beast out of kenya but you know maybe for what i know organizations like this once they've taken hold of a government it's usually hard to let and go root them out root them out because if a russia's president comes and uh and does what the other sellout presidents in africa have 
sold us out to that that president will be killed mm. you know will and that's de- why that president will be deleted de- yes that president will be deleted real quick before you can say the word my name you know that's why i'm also just praying for the senegalese president and i'm hoping that he'll be able to and trahore and i'm hoping they'll be able to uh root out this the powers that be because in kenya the powers that be are really taking hold you know because if it were uh according to me if because you you also heard that the un moved their offices to kenya mm. why why are they moved? in this whole africa you just chose kenya as your breeding bed to move your offices here you along with taken them to uh, rwanda rwanda, to rwanda. Doing well yes south, south, africa. south africa you love south africa so you could have taken them to why 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 bring your offices here if, if even god could choose to delete this un offices forever i think it would have done uh, the world as a good service especially africa because un they come here with the pretext of helping but they just come to loot here and do all those hidden horrible agendas. things and hidden agendas they're the ones who are pushing weapons to uh, rebel groups you know you guys if you know you know man if you know you know so see you